and welcome back all right so we are about to take on the lawless hideout and i made a couple of changes so this is the lineup coming to the fight i also decided that hilmar shouldn't go for nimble since he doesn't have access to colossus he should go for medium armor with poise instead and yes indeed i am going to take sword mastery for him which i was debating earlier let's do that so unlocks the kata step skill. I should have looked at this earlier. Let's take a quick look. Use the flow of your sword swings to take a step through zone of control without triggering attacks of opportunity. Can only be used immediately after a successful attack. Costs minus two action points. And builds plus zero fatigue compared to the movement cost of the starting tile. Whereas a two-handed sword or a double gripped one-handed sword. All right, and a bunch of other things. Now let's take a look. So we have this falchion equipped. This is 9 fatigue and 14 fatigue. So this is a cleaver skill. So if we equip that on someone else, like you, that is 11 fatigue. Okay, so it is working with the sword mastery. So there we go. I also decided that a leap win here is actually quite bad so i think i will just let him go i mean maybe not bad but he's definitely not good is what i should say and especially when our lineup is starting to fill up i think yes indeed goodbye mr Liebwin. let's strip you naked and send you out into the world best of luck to you there we go and I will keep, also yes, these two guys, so one is an indebted and one is a cripple, both with promised potential. So even if they reach that, their hit point situation is going to be quite dire, so we shall see what happens with these two guys. Anyway, that's enough babbling for now, let's just head into the fight see how this goes we are fighting a couple of outlaws here the swamp terrain but they probably will charge us then again they do have more ranged units than we do we have well actually no we have four now so yeah we'll see we shall see what they decide to do here so let's turn that on as soon as we're able. Okay, seems that they are coming towards us. So yes, Ingolf now has cover ally. Hmm. Well, I'll learn about that at some point. There you go. Right, so this terrain is 3 AP, 3 AP, 3 AP, all of it, well, that's 2 AP. But he cannot reach us and attack next round. I think we'll just stay put with our people, probably. So we could move one tile here and attack already with the reach weapons. Well, I'll decide on that in a moment. Oh, actually, I can't. Never mind. Still wait, though. I think this fight will be just fine, thanks to the ranged guys. We also have arrow to the knee, which we could make use of. Not sure if there's a point, though, currently. So, this is how much fatigue to use. Oh, come on. 15 and this is 11. Let's just go for the regular attack here. Keep on tickling them. And again, can he reach us? He can. And I can also reach him. And we have better initiative, so I suppose we should go for it. This is probably a 5 AP weapon, this 200 mallet. Yes, might is 5 AP. Let's go for it. 42. The 
predictable failure there. You also have initiative, so I could help around this flank. We get hit by this thing, it's going to hurt a lot. Is your range defense 17? Might be getting hit by a crossbow. Hmm. Well, that is a chance that I will take, I think. So this guy has a hooked blade. Six AP. Do you have mastery? You do. All right. Two AP, two AP. Okay. So if I use, if I go there. This guy can actually reach us and attack. Hmm. Problematic. Kind of problematic. I could move over here instead. Hmm. Could actually be a semi-vital decision here. However small it is. Well, we have a melee defense of what? 32. Hmm. I, I will risk it. I don't know. I'll be very sad if this guy dies, but oh well. See what happens here. No crossbow bolt to the face and also this guy didn't go for it. All right. Well, thank you very much. Just double check. This is... 3 AP for the most part. Okay, but this weapon can move up here. Because it's 4 AP to attack. 87 initiative. Yes, I can just end turn here. And activate shield wall. Next round. Alright. You can do a hit and run though, so I can do that already. You have initiative to get away. 87. Yes, good. 71. Alright. Good move over here actually. Nearly guaranteed that we get to kill the outlaw. Does have survival instincts active. Hmm. Might need some melee help over on this flank. But it's going to take a while for these guys to reach us, so I think it's fine to go for this. Alright. Hmm, probably want to just move Hilamar towards the northern flank. And Wilhelm can just, I think, hold on where he is. And there is actually a point in using arrow to the knee here. If I hit this Wendel. Might be able to kill him though. Alright, well, since I did hit, let's go for the other guy. There we are. Can we hit this guy? 56? No. What about 54? No. Hmm. 56. Yes. Fractured hand and dazed. Nice try, buddy. Alright, go for this guy. Good one. Step back. So I don't want to shoot him since we already have arrow to the knee in effect. So 
do I go for this outlaw here? Or do I trust that Beathelm can kill him? Hmm. Or I could just wait. Probably better to guarantee that this guy dies though. 52? No. How about 54? Also no. Alright. Okay, that's the first time that we've been hit by a tier 2 crossbow. It does hurt quite a bit. Get a pierced hand out of that. Okay. That one's dealt with. Keep on waiting. Hello there. Okay, you have four AP left. Trying to lure us lure us in there. Alright, um go for this guy. Go for him again. I think Deathhelm can go for all of this. It's a bit of a problem though, because if I head over here, I'm going to block access for the others. Uh, let's let them come instead. Step over there. Good. Do I dare go forward with you? Or spear. Hmm. I mean, you're a bait character anyway, so I don't really mind if I get you killed here, despite your usefulness. Let's go for it. Savar here can take this position. Be able to land hits with the reach. Lael. One. All right, it's going well. Don't want to be hit by this, but we probably will be. Let's kill that fool and hold position, I think, though we are kind of in the line of fire. It's going to hurt quite a bit. Throwing spear. 45 to 70. And you have a range defense of zero. Okay. Maybe I move back. Despite what I said earlier about this guy being expendable. Right, wait, wait. Wait. I should move Hamdun away. Yeah, let's do that. I don't need him anymore. There we are. Couple of 85 misses. Uh, maybe this is enough using Deed Helm and Savar here against these fools. I can send Hilmar and Valdemar north instead. Let's do that. Okay. 
slash. 100% chance to hit the head. Okay. Sure. Okay, step over there, go for go for the 77. And kill this guy probably pretty easily. Not yet though. Pathfinder, yes you do, okay. Sure, take that spot. should move with you, Lebrax. Kind of funny that you can move up to this guy, have zero action points left and still be able to attack. And again, do I want to do that? 2 AP... 3 AP. Well, he'll be able to move up to us anyway and attack, so might as well. Nice throw there. Hmm. These guys are going to kill themselves, so I suppose we'll wait. Okay, there he goes, so what was the chance to hit? Struck down only, 60%, okay. Kind of forgot that this guy had a reach weapon in the inventory. Oh well. So now, detail might actually be in trouble here. We shall find out. But breaking the morale of this brigand seems to be super easy, so I'm not too worried. Not just yet, at least. Might go for this cluster, probably, or maybe this cluster. Over that. Okay, bunch of them are fleeing. Getting hit, but it doesn't hurt all that much. Hmm. Still acting, need to get next to you. Kill you. Um, Hamdun. Yeah, just stay there. Goodbye. Okay. 
Okay, no clean target. Let's move. I think Hilamar has also taken enough damage that I shouldn't risk him anymore. So I'll probably send him away here. This guy's fleeing. It's a bit of a shame. I would like to get the war fork, which is a spear. Don't think I can reach him. Oh well. Oh well. You have... No, you don't. Okay. So it would be a risk to send him... Send Hilmar and go after this guy. It's fine. Oh, I can reach him. Never mind. There we are. Might be able to get that war Warfork. Let's not waste ammunition. Can use you again. Just this one fool, and then we are done. It's over. There we are, pretty good fight. Savar gets a missing eye, which is completely fine. No level ups. A bunch of loot. And we do get the Warfork. Did we get anything else of note? Well, a bit of money. Okay. We are still looking for the ruins of Borgen. Over here, though. Okie dokie, so you can sit... What was it you? No, it was you. You can sit out for a while. Let's bring in one of these guys. Probably Radwan. Let's let you sit out as well. Do that. Also, this guy should get a weapon of some sort. Also, a helmet of some sort. Um, if you actually repair that as well, give you that. And you've taken damage. You can sit out. Bit like this. There we are. That's pretty good. This is a better helmet than most, so I will repair that. Inventory is filling up. Let's take a look at the retinue. So this is 5,000. Yeah. Could get something here, though. Mm. This might be worth it, but I like the lookout more. I would like a sergeant the most. Well... A bannerman, rather. So I will not spend my money just yet. Okay, ambition fulfilled. Okay, so probably might be able to take this on. However, we don't have rally the troops, so I will skip. We still have this group of enemies over here, though. I will fight them. Might go a bit badly if we get unlucky with the ghosts. But that is a chance I am willing to take, I think. 
Let's repair these. Alright. Okay, let's see how we do. Many meaner gangers and a few ghosts. Three of them. Okay, we could improve the or increase the combat speed here. Let's do that. Using the Swifter mod, which I do recommend. Just stay put with everyone, I think. Let's get in there and start whacking, whacking them off. So here's Kata step. No point using it just yet, I don't think. Next round might suck. Guests have initiative of 95. Well, we shall see, we shall see. one of you over there. He didn't even realize that. Okay, really don't want to get next to the ghosts. Someone like you, if you get afraid and try to flee, they will just kill you pretty fast. But we can probably take that spot. Use that. There we go. So Theodobolt is fleeing now and Hilmar is breaking. Not too worried yet, though. This is a very easy group of enemies overall. Or it should be, at least. At least it should be. Let's actually move over there. Can't really get to the ghosts though, so this might go poorly for us. If we get a little bit unlucky. Can't try for these five percenters. Hmm. You never know, you might be able to hit one of them. more people are fleeing not looking good on that front this is why we need the banner man let's 
long as we can kill the zombies, though, we should be fine. People will eventually rally themselves, as long as the guests don't decide for whatever reason to go into melee range, which they sometimes do in Legends. But it does seem like they don't want to do that in this mod. You two got away. Could you step in here and try to get a ghost. Try to get a ghost. Is what I meant to say. 15%. Oh yeah, there's. I think it's affected by this guy being in between us. Hmm. 30 melee difference. Okay. Now let's instead go for a Wiener Ganger. Problematic fight. But we are making progress, and as long as I don't get next to the guests with a non reach weapon then we probably can handle this without taking any more damage. Five percent left. Oh yeah, you've been overwhelmed as well. Welcome back. Okay, 11% or 11%. Damn ghosts. Well, eventually we will land like a 5% shot from the ranged guys at least. Could go in here. I think it's too much of a risk. You'd pick up this pitchfork with someone. Maybe you. We will run out of arrows as well, though. 25 now. Nope. Hmm. So this is going to take a while. And as long as they don't actually want to do anything else than scream at us, we will get through this. You might want to skip ahead, though, if you value your time. Melee skill of 65, I really don't want to get in melee range. Not with only one character being able to do so as well. Just three ghasts are this annoying. Mm. What a stupid fight. <laughs> Everyone's afraid. Everyone's afraid. Oh, they are coming. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. Now we need to get lucky. We need to get lucky here. This is 5 AP. We need to be able to hit these things. Otherwise, they will just kill people. God damn it. Hmm. Maybe I just flee from this, actually. Maybe I just flee. 
rooted by three damn ghosts. Misses a 69, huh? Okay. Yeah, I think we need to get out of here. Can we even do it? And not lose people? You might be no, still alive. Probably dead. Probably losing Leofric. Oh well. Goodbye, Leofric. You were going to be a good thrower. Oh well. Shame for display. But here we are. No banner man. And this is the result. Probably could have played that a lot better. Should have given people more reach weapons. Oh well, at least we got a little bit of XP out of that. I'm not too sad about losing Leofric. It's fine. Let's bring someone into the fighting line. It's going to be you. Level up Rat 1 to level 2. Pick up Promised Potential. Um, plus 3, plus 3. Yes, very good. Plus 5 fatigue, yes, sure. 40 hit points though, so this guy might die pretty easily at some point. Yes, yes, sad music. Alright. Contract complete. What was this? This was a caravan to Jadeburg. Or Jadeburg. Um, we might take that, perhaps. We can't really afford anything famed that spawns, though. Let's take another look at the recruits here. Mm, Sir Rollo might be good, but he's also immensely expensive. So, no thank you. Let's sell some junk, though. Try to make this quick. Keep one of these slings just in case I eventually want to use one. I have enough golden decks, I think. Wooden flail. Mm -hmm. Rather use the. Mm, Use this maze if we are going to use something like that. Right, that seems to be most of the stuff. Let's mark some items for repairs. Good enough. Alright. Oh, we need ammunition. How much is it here? Spent a lot of ammunition trying to... Futilely shoot at the ghosts there. Um, hmm. Is there even a good place to buy ammunition on this map? At least nearby, I don't know. Well, let's head towards Jedburg. See if we can find a banner man there, perhaps. Or ammunition, or both. Let's take a look at the obituary actually, so we've lost, let's see, seven people, alright. Most of them I won't be missing, I've basically forgotten all about them already. That thrower guy did have a lot of potential though. Oh well, that's what I get for taking on ghosts. Should have like a whip or something if I plan to do that. Okay, no. Hmm, just outright re recruit this fool. Supporter. Alright, so he does have rally the troops, but he doesn't have resolve stars. Pretty good traits, but otherwise very underwhelming. 
Eh, I'll let him go. Good boy. Okay. Hmm. 59 or 60 to try these guys out. I'll just recruit them. Let's take a look. Okay, not very good. Hmm. Yeah, no, thank you. I don't think. It by Valdemar. Baranor, three star resolve. I don't see related troops though. He does get fortified mind, but it's not going to help us out. One star melee skill, one star range skill. Doesn't get, get quick hands, so no point in thinking about this guy any longer. At least as a hybrid. Just get rid of him as well. Hmm. Okay, let's try this guy out. Clumsy and gluttonous, huh? Probably don't want to spend the money on that one. Well, can we get ammunition at least? Well, we can. It is expensive though. So, so buy tools. And also food. There we are. Let's take another look at the marketplace if there's anything of note. Don't see anything. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. You really need that banner, man. Let's head towards Salzbrook, I think. Find something along the way to kill, probably. Alright, an easy group of nomads, as well as an easy group of brigands. Kill both of them, hopefully. Not in the forest though. It's like forests. Uh, let's lower the combat speed a little bit here. Make it 1.5. One. Initiative of 83, meaning that you will act before the Nomads. Okay, cut a step coming coming in handy. Nice pocket sand there, that's why I waited. Good 
human enemies so far in the mod are pretty easy. Non-human enemies, however, have been pretty difficult so far. Golden Dag is a really good early game weapon as well. for that guy instead oh well okay clean easy fight pick up the junk take the next one hmm okay well yes i would like to get a sergeant to rally us i don't think i want no, I don't know. Maybe I should take that. Mm, sure. It makes thematic sense as well. Oh, you're fighting. But it was against some peasants, so you're still all alive. Is that two groups? Kind of looks like two groups. Surely it's not. Yeah, okay. It's confused there for a moment. Fifty-nine, fifty-nine. Well, go for one of the fifty-nines. Just checking the initiative there. You know, this guy does have more initiative than Red One does. So let's use Shield Wall. That is with Steel Brow. So without it, I think this guy might have even died. Maybe. You've acted. You haven't. And you haven't. So if I can get someone next to this guy, I can still keep fighting with Wolfgang. Which I think I can manage. Post, huh? Chance to hit is 63. I'll take my chances. And 76. We are. Hmm. 
So one of these guys needs to go for the hunter. Uh, uh, Valdemar, yeah, Valdemar can go for it. This guy now has 59 initiative. Now he has zero initiative. Right. Keep on killing. I'm really liking what Hilmar can do. Even though he's a bait character. Very useful so far. Also, maybe I could be daggering these people down. I don't really want to. It's fine. It's all going to be fine. Right, get some levels out of that. And could still fit all of that stuff into the inventory. Terabolt level 2. Pick up promised potential. Plus 3, plus 3, and probably the fatigue. Does need help with the hit points, but I would prefer getting a plus 4. Okay, next up, Ortwin, also level 2. Okay. Let's patch up that resolve. Take Pathfinder. There we are. Okay. Falchion. Yeah, okay. Prepare the boar spears, I suppose. Maybe the falchion as well. Also, we have a dagger. Does anyone need a dagger? You. Right. Where was it? There. Okay. Keep moving. And pushed trade routes. And this is the contract for it. Not sure I want to do that. Let's check some check some recruits here. Mm. I mean if this guy had stars in the good places then he might be usable, but I can't see that. Okay, this guy I will just recruit. See what he is capable of. Let's do the same with these two. Unstoppable Vicious. Seems to be like a decent damage dealer. At least if he gets stars, which he might not. Alright, so Alfgeir is bad. Just plain old bad. Goodbye. Ludolf is also quite bad. Could do some initiative tanking perhaps, but eh. One star melee defense. Shields. Medium armor. Dodge. I don't know. Doesn't seem all that useful. I think I'll just let this guy go. And finally... Hildebert, three star fatigue, faint hearted, stars in initiative with dodge available, let's also get Colossus, no nimble, I mean earlier on this guy would have been decent, now he's just meh, okay, say goodbye to him as well, okay, we might 
need to look into the more expensive backgrounds to find the banner man. What is the selling price here? 17, that is good enough. In the Legends mod you could actually salvage stuff like this instead of selling it for tools. Which is a pretty nice feature, but I don't necessarily miss it all that much. Okay, sure. Also, it seems like no buyback option here in this mod, unlike in Legends. You sell something there, you can just buy it back for the same price. Yeah, okay. Could just install something like that on my own, of course. Hmm. 48 inventory slots. We have enough food. Okay, do I want to do any of this? White Hoff, didn't we just come from there? Um, kind of. I think we head to Sonheim and Forstland, still keep looking for that damn sergeant. And let's ignore that as well, I think. It's a good amount of money. But only a good amount, not a great amount. So let's keep moving. We can handle other encampment types, probably, but we can't really take on anything that can lower the resolve of people, currently. Okay, that guy is super cheap as well as that. Also check Mr. Dirk here. Alright, so Ernst the Ailing. From his potential. Very low amount of hit points. Star in melee skill though. Maybe I'll keep him around. Just for the promised potential. Star in melee skill does help quite a bit. I think I will keep him. Ernst the potential. Next up, Badulf. Hmm. Seems to be pretty meh. No stars in melee skill or melee defense. As a star in initiative without access to dodge. I think I'll just let you go, Mr. Badulf. And finally, Dirk. Dirk seems to be meh. Does have iron lungs though. Could be like a shield user. With medium armor, survival instinct, something like that. Does also get indomitable. <sighs> I don't know. The Iron Lungs does help, so Indomitable is... is it 20 fatigue? 25, okay. Well, you do have a star in fatigue as well. Could be a decent tank, perhaps. Starting at 5 melee defense reaches about 30 melee defense by level 11. It also get some help from Dodge, maybe. No stars in initiative though. Okay, we are at 16 people. 30 resolve. Can patch that up with Fortified Mind. No underdog though. Hmm. He might be good enough. I think I'll keep him around at least for the end of this episode, which is ending right now because it's been an hour. So 
Thanks for watching. I will see you next time in our quest in finding the Bannerman. See you then.